Oh, it's a Thursday again. And I genuinely don't remember whether or not this is the first evening one of this. It might be. It also might not be. I don't know. I have the first or the second, and... I genuinely don't remember. One thing I do need to do, though, is... Get thingy onto Twitch, because it's not... probably need to be dusted a little bit. It's just sat in the same place. Pretty much all the time. Yep, there we go. I just realized I never actually did the tweet. <laughs> I had it ready. And then I closed it. Out of habit. Ooh, actually, do I want to do that or do I want to do another challenge? That's mods. Challenges. I think it makes sense to start each of these with one or two challenges, because I forget about them. I don't remember what this challenge is. I remember what this challenge is. No. I don't think this is... Hmm. Okay. The whole idea of this challenge is basically, can you outpace the damage? Find the most efficient routes to the boss and then beat the boss. Including healing. So this is very much a red heart challenge. If I go up here, also, any extra hits do, of course, lead to more damage. But no, if I go up, I'd have to go right, where instead I should just go right and skip that room entirely. There are item rooms, though. I don't know why you would. Basically, if you get the Holy Mantle, you're very, very lucky, and basically get a free win, assuming that you don't get hit too much in the rooms. I, mm. Yep, go upwards for some reason. That is a great start. Well, I have a heart or one heart. I would have used this anyway, so one hit doesn't make much of a difference to me. That's a death. I keep, yeah, I try to bat the gurglings downwards, but sometimes they just go up. I don't know. Get R. I understand what those poops are there for. But I don't think I've ever actually used them. I could have gone in the curse room, but no. Backtracking is deadly. You don't want to. I would want to go this way. Soul hearts give more... Well, they're not as useful, but they do give a shield. Also, I'm very happy to have that tried. Likely going to give the Amicus Cookbook, which is kind of unfortunate because that isn't very useful to me. No. And then hopefully you die. You have a key. I'm fine with that. And no lava. No. Let me go over here. That one died, and that is a bomb that's trapped. Hmm. Sure. I see no reason to take that bomb if I get light. I wouldn't really be coming back, though, so I'll risk the crawl space and see what happens. Nothing! 
I could. Actually, I still could. That was a little bit of a waste. How would I bomb here? I could bomb through and save one piece of damage and also check the secret room. That's a lot of money. I don't have a key, though. Well, bomb here, too. I should have actually, yeah, should have bombed through from the item room. That's fine. Full health and full item charge. I see no real downside there. Where am I going? I'm I'm just going to depths two. Okay. Snooky still. I'm gonna save the bombs. I don't really think it would be a good idea for me to use use them when I don't have to. Slash for short when it's not for a shortcut. Because that just seems like a good idea. Health up is interesting, and there is a devil deal for something I don't want, so I'll just take the health and move on. Because if I can get angel deals, that could lead towards something like... Even Breath of Life could be really good. Am I willing to risk this path for... Impossible key. Yes, I am. It was a half heart. Okay. Key spawns, I'm taking it, even though it'll take a bomb. It's a bomb. I'll take the bomb for a bomb. I'll also bomb into here. In which there is a chest. And in the chest... There is money and hearts. Oh, a heart. But it's not going to be too useful because to get that heart I'd have to backtrack. There's a key. That brings up a good question. And I think the answer is yes. So per door, I'd lose one, two... I'd lose two hearts doing this in total. But I think... That was not worth it. That was very not worth it. And then also this door here. But there is also a heart here, which is fine. And also this, which I'm kind of happy that I wait till afterwards. And I could use a key on that. That's the problem with this challenge. If you go back too much, or get hit too much, you can just get stuck. Oh, I don't... No, I'll be fine on this floor. Unless I get hit a whole load again. I don't think I will. Hit the thing then. There we go. I'll also use a key for that. I might bomb there. Just depends what it is. Equals. No. I would rather not. Posts. Ow. That was a stupid hit. I could have easily avoided that. Anyway, boss. The Gurdy that doesn't shoot, I think. Pretty sure this isn't the Gurdy that shoots. Oh, they don't. Fair enough. They don't despawn anymore. I don't know if this was actually, like, by design, or if... <laughs> that, that brings up a good question. I genuinely have no idea if this was the intended outcome of changing the way the champion works. Ooh. Thrawn Heart could lead to problems. Oh, good. More hearts. Because a rotten heart is only a single hit, but it could also lead to good things. No, I'll kill the single first. There we go. 
That was an interesting fight. Oh hell, I'm fine with that. I will of course lose the Rotten Heart first, which does downgrade that one heart container. So I guess it'll only result in... Actually, no... F oh no, two flies. Um... Sure. I'll risk it, though, even though the last one wasn't actually worth it. Could be worth it, though. But I somehow doubt it. The bomb. Yeah, I'd rather kill you first. And then you. Yes. Card thingy, which could be useful. And there's no way for me to get. Of course. Actually, yeah, I'll take this. I might actually. Well, there's a key, but of course I can't get to it. Let's start. Fair enough. How much damage will that be? One, two, three, four. But there's two more hearts. These items are really not worth it. No, I want I want this. This could lead to health. I also want them, but of course I'm not gonna get them. Poison. Death. Hopefully more death on you two. There we go. What are you? Answers. That's not useful to me. I literally have all the information anyway. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to play you. And hope that you give me stuff. Like a heart. I'm not going to play the blood machine though. Because that would be stupid. Any kind of resources would be very appreciated. Especially keys. Possibly a way to fly, but I doubt that will happen. Bomb is good. Heart is good. Key. Coin, sure. Another heart is good. Maybe I stop there because of the shops, but even then, there's only two more left. We got down to ten. I'm fine with that. Oh, time to die, hopefully. Well, the poison could be useful. There is a mini pin, whatever they're called. Possibly mini pin. I genuinely don't remember their name. Oh, there's nothing even in this room. Oh, there is a rock there. Which is a key. I am not going all that way for a shop. This is next floor's key. Answers. Oh, the I'm excited would now would not be fun here. That does not sound like a very fun time at all. Sure. I don't know if either of these would be considered a good... Well, that definitely isn't. I don't think that would be a good thing either. And in a normal run, I would happily take both of those. In this run, not so much. Well, certain room is in a different direction to the boss room all the time. I will bomb through here just to save two bits. Oh, and greed, apparently. Oh, this also means I could clear out those rooms for less damage, too. Halitosis might actually... I almost got hit them. Might actually be a secret good thing, because a lot of enemies do come in close. In a normal run, it'd be absolutely terrible, but in this run... 
sure. But that is dead. And so is that. And I can do this one over here too. Yeah, like that's just poison. Poison damage is pretty good. Challenge comes in trying to use it. Where's the shot? On the way, that's fine. Yeah, I don't want to walk into fire. That would not be a good thing. Poison. Don't want to hit that either. And then move on. Where there is another key. Hooray! Run. That is two thirds spun and a speed up. Oh, now to go now to go back. Which is always the fun bit. I can skip some more damage and go straight to here. Which is actually a very easy room. Unless he decides to throw out a whole load of... Never mind. I'm gonna say tears that I magically get hit by. That didn't happen, luckily. Regular curse room? No. See, I could, but then I don't see what the point would be. Death. And death. More death. This death. There we go. Another key. Hooray! That's one. And a coin. And then here. That works. That works. And that works. Hooray! Steam sale. I guess for the next floor it could be useful. This. And this, I guess. I'm very fine with that. Um, sure. I'll take that for the promise of hopefully both rooms next floor. Eh. That. Actually. Yeah. That is very useful to have right next to the boss. And it's only Monstro 2. This shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Monstro 2 isn't exactly a difficult boss. Think so? There we go. As long as you can manipulate him into firing the brimstone, it's not that bad. It is interesting to think about, though, that his entire strategy is spawning the red flies, whatever they're actually called. I forgot. And then shooting them... I almost walked... I did walk into it, but I'm pretty sure the fly saved me. And then shooting them with the brimstone to cause alternate shots. Like that. It's not the most effective strategy. It doesn't do very much. But it is a strategy. Yeah, I walked into that one. He's dead. Sure. Also sure. Circle of protection. A thing I haven't actually had in... This file yet, I don't think. Every time it flashes brighter, that's when it can block... Oh, well, that's so far away, but I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, every time it flashes brighter, that's when it can block tears and convert them to homing tears of, like that, homing tears on your side. One of the better protection items. I don't think it deals contact damage. Or maybe it does. I actually don't. Hold on. Oh, it does. I didn't know that. I never tried. I had no reason to try. Larry Jr., who is now poisoned and is dead. Hooray! I, somehow I get the feeling that the majority of the items have been pretty useless. No. 
They have been. Um, if only I had more bombs. But, why not? That's money. But that's still not enough bombs. And there's also this here. And I don't trust him to give me what I want. So, I'm just going to move on. Another good thing. Ow. Another good thing about circle of protection is it's completely independent. It doesn't rely on any of your stuff. Oh, well, maybe, but no. Oh, that can still spawn. Fair enough. And it doesn't matter anyway, because this is super greed. Which is largely an inconsequential fight right now. Ow. It'd be nice if I didn't hurt myself. Oh, no. Of course, he also gave me more money. Maybe I do take this heart, run in here, and play this. For 30 coins, it should be really decent. That's just more money back. That's more money. That's another half heart. And that's bombs, which is actually, ow, actually exactly enough. And I'm pretty sure I wasted one of those hearts. Oh, well. I might as well go in a curse room at least once in the challenge called Cursed. Health down, of course. And explosive diarrhea. Given the rest, how much does this have? Two. I probably could get heart back, but given the rest, I think this actually makes more sense. Because then as I lose hearts, I can convert them into more. Well, that, that's an interesting sound. Poison you to know what up is dead anyway. No, and... No. Oh, I can use this to get in here. I didn't. What is this? Judgment. Sure. Judgment. Sure, that actually works. Oh, Guppy's poor. I could have been Guppy. But I would have been dead because of um, Dead Cat. So yeah, in a normal run, this would have still been terrible because there was basically no usable items. Well, no, that's the problem. They were all usables. But no, um... As I continue... Ow. Yeah, my entire strategy here will basically... Ow. Will basically be as I lose health. Each time... Ow. Yeah, red heart disappears. I'm just going to convert it into three more health. Because that way I should be able to easily outpace the boss by tripling my health. Well, quadrupling it, actually. But... I would say, of course, I can't regenerate it, but this is the end goal of the challenge anyway. So, that's not much of a stretch. The only problem is, as with... I don't think it'd be in the middle. I don't know if she now predicts where you're going. I never thought she did. Or I backtracked on myself differently to how I thought I was down here. Somehow I'm still dealing damage. I think it is genuinely just circle of protection. What do? No, enemy kills don't cause health loss. This isn't like the pink carrying queen. I win. I'm going to pick that up. I'm just going to win. Credit card has been in basement. Fair enough. That's how you unlock that. This one I remember being quite easy. No, um, quite a few. How many? Forty-four. Oh yeah, I forgot I unlocked you. Oh yeah, what? Well, yeah, assuming the letters are correct, I know what that is. 